Hey everyone, this is Calum. So what I have here under these uh, mini greenhouses are some starfruit seedlings which I've recently sprouted. So let's take off these cups and check them out together. So these are my little starfruit seedlings and I'm so stoked with how they're doing. Uh, they're looking really healthy and they seem to be growing fairly quickly as well. Uh, these are only a few weeks old. Uh, I did have a few that were about a month old um, which sprouted a little bit earlier and unfortunately I've already killed two of them. Um, so I planted six seeds originally, um, five of which sprouted, and yeah, as I said, two have already died. Um, and that was, I know the cause of their death, so I'll tell you what I did wrong. Um, so hopefully you don't do the same thing if you're gonna give this a try. Um, now I've never actually tasted starfruit before. Uh, as far as I know, they're not even sold here in New Zealand, uh, at least not that I've ever seen. So the seeds that I used to grow these uh, came all the way from Java in Indonesia. So a friend of mine over there sent me these seeds. Uh, so thank you so much Megia for sending me these seeds. Uh, I really appreciate it and it's something that I've been wanting to grow for quite a long time and I just reckon they're such cool plants. Um, I really like the foliage and yeah, just um, grow a really cool looking fruit as well. Um, I'm going to just take you through really quickly how I uh, started my seeds, how I sowed them and just how I maintained it um, before they sprouted because they did take quite a long time to sprout. But the first ones took around about two months to sprout, that was those first two and these guys took a few weeks longer so they took about two and a half months in total to uh, start to grow and show any growth at all. Um, but anyway, despite um, the weight it was definitely worth it and as you can see I've got some pretty cool results out of it and hopefully these guys are going to continue to grow for me um, but anyway I'm going to put these greenhouses back on these guys because I'm pretty sure the dry air out here and the heat of the sun probably isn't doing them too much good you can already see the leaves starting to shrivel alright so these are the leftover seeds that Megia sent me uh, so let's plant one now Alright, so what I have here is a plastic cup that I've drilled a hole in the bottom because it is important to have good drainage. Um, and I've just filled it up with nice fine soil. So all you want to do <coughs> is just make a bit of a hole in there. That deep, not deep, maybe a centimetre or two. And grab your seed. Drop it in there. Just like that and then cover it over. Now even if your soil is like mine and already quite moist, I do recommend giving it a little bit of water anyway. And the reason for this is because it'll wash very fine soil around the seed and it'll make sure that the seed has really good contact with the soil and stays evenly moist. Okay, so what I have here is just another cup and I've put some gravel in the bottom and I just like to get this and sit it inside it that way when I sit it inside I don't have to sit it in a saucer it can just stay like that um, so a cup within a cup idea but basically the gravel is just so that any excess water that drains out is going to have somewhere to drain into if I didn't have the gravel then all the moisture would stay sitting around the base of the cup and the soil would just keep soaking it up and the soil would stay very very soggy uh, and that's not what you want for growing seeds you just want nice evenly moist soil and the last thing I did was just take the empty cup place it over top just like that and you've created a mini greenhouse so as the moisture in the soil evaporates it will condense on the top there and when it forms large drips it will just rain back down onto the soil and keep it perfectly evenly moist uh, but yeah don't put it in the wind because that will happen <laughs> um, so yeah I just put mine inside in like a shaded area of my house um, and just in a fairly warm room it doesn't need to be really warm um, just you know a nice temperature okay so I'm gonna <laughs> go put this in the house so it doesn't blow off Oh, by the way, um, yeah, that's how my first two starfruit seedlings died. Um, so they were in my room and somehow the, the top got knocked off just like that. 
and because I wasn't keeping an eye on how moist the soil was because I knew it, it would be fine um, because of the, the lid on there um, so I didn't, didn't check it and the soil just fully dried out and then I found it a few days later with the soil really dry and two dead starfruit seedlings so that was kind of sucky but just as well I've still got three left and I'll take care of them anyways that's about it from me today uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already I'd love to hear your comments what you think of the video and uh, stick around for more stuff coming out soon alrighty thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye